I am in the midst of trying to make $8,000 in a month with Uber and Lyft and just a little bit of Instacart. To start the month off, I wanted to get a head start, so I drove for 70 hours and tried to make as much money as I could. Unfortunately, things didn't go as smooth as I had hoped. Day one and two were great though. I worked about 24 hours and made $528. If you wanna see those full shifts, go check out these videos right here. Day three, I didn't go out as long because it was Labor Day and I made $212 in about nine hours. And this is where things got rough. Day four. Oh boy, guys, it is so early. It is currently 5.30 in the morning. Welcome to day four of this challenge. The reason it's so early is because there is a $21 streak with Lyft and I didn't want to miss out on that because that can be huge for us to start the day with. I mean, we might be able to make like 35, 40 bucks in our first hour depending on how quick we can get rides done. So that would be absolutely massive if we can do that. But we have to drive all the way to more towards the Salt Lake area. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm probably just gonna do lift rides, maybe a couple Instacarts if they're big, but we're definitely gonna get this streak done and then probably just keep accepting lift rides because that's what's gonna be the busiest in the morning. So I'll see you guys after that. All right guys, well it is already 8.45 and I am taking my break because I need to get some food in me and I'm gonna take this slow time from like 9 to 11 to eat food, go to the gym, get all that done so then we can just spend the rest of the day going out making money and we're already at $85 from Lyft. So that streak bonus was huge. Basically averaged like $28 an hour, which we have not seen in the early parts of the day throughout this series yet. So that is a huge boost. And yeah, anyway, I'm headed home, I'm gonna eat something, go to the gym and then we'll be back at it. All right guys, we've been back at it for about an hour now and we did a couple of lift rides, made about $22, so we're at $107 in total. We've only done lift so far today, but we did get our first pretty decent Uber Eats order. It's like $15 for, I think it was 10 miles. I'm not sure, it said it would take 30 minutes, but I didn't screenshot it. I'll throw it up on the screen from like the earnings tab. I'll go in and do that if I can find it. But first Uber Eats order of the day, and we're doing pretty good, honestly. So it seems like Lyft is going to basically be dead the rest of the day. So probably gonna be a lot of Uber Eats, a lot of Instacart maybe. And if things are slow, I'll turn on Uber Rideshare and see if we can get some rides with that as well. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Took a quick little nap, which goes against what I have said in the past. I try to avoid naps at all costs because I just feel like they are a time waster and sometimes they can get out of hand. You can end up napping for like two hours and then that's a big chunk of time that you just wasted. But I was so dead from waking up at five, I felt like I just needed one to get revamped and everything. So we're on our way to pick up this Uber Eats order. Let's go get it. Message from Lana V. Arriving at lobby. And this is why when customers have a pin, it can really backfire. Instead of being able to drop it off in the lobby, I was stuck standing around for minutes on end, just wasting time, waiting for a customer to come down and give me their pin. Finally, they did end up coming down, but we did waste valuable minutes with that. For the rest of day four, I mostly just did Lyft, and for that day, I ended up making $124 from Lyft and only $14.04 from Uber and nothing from Instacart, bringing our total for the day to $138.04. Yeah, I definitely burned out after waking up that early. And this is where things took a turn for the worst. What was supposed to be day five, I woke up sick with some flu bug, and to top things off, somehow I threw out my back while getting out of bed in the morning. I literally have no idea how. I knew that I wouldn't be able to go out on my normal shift because one, I could barely move and two, I didn't want to get other people sick, obviously. So I decided to pick up a back brace and some icy hot patches and rest up both my illness and my back. So I ended up taking the days off that were supposed to be days five and six. This is why if you're working this many hours, it is so important to go to the gym or at least just stretch out before and after every shift because 
Otherwise, you'll end up like me and you'll be throwing out your back somehow like you're an 80 year old man, even though you're only 23 years old. So I wasn't doing this like I should have been, but you definitely have to if you're going to work this many hours. Another thing you're going to want to have if you're working 70 hours a week is something to track your miles. And the best app out there that does this for you is the Solo app. Up to this point, I had driven 1,024 miles and had made $876. I'll go into why that is so important at the end of this video, but if you need an app that automatically tracks your miles, definitely go check out the solo app. And if you use the link I have for you down below in the description to link one of your gig accounts, then you'll get a bonus $10 upon sign up. They also have a bunch of other great features that can help you make more money. So if you're interested, definitely go check it out. Yes, Emily? Yes. All right, there you go. Thank you. Day seven, I only did Lyft and Uber rideshare, and that was because Uber Eats has just been absolutely terrible, and I didn't feel like doing Instacart anymore, and this actually ended up being really lucrative for me. I really should have just been doing this the whole time because I made way more money. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm making this video a month after I recorded these things, and so it may seem a little bit scrambled. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into the totals. In total for my 70 hour work week, I made $603.26 from Lyft, $477.64 from Uber, and $191.42 from Instacart, bringing our total to $1,272.32. That's not even an average of $20 an hour, and to be honest, I probably would have been better off just doing Lyft and Uber rideshare, and I would have made a lot more money. So also from the 70 hours that I worked, I drove just over 1,500 miles. So like I said earlier in the video, I would explain why it's so important to track your miles, and that's because you get a huge tax write-off if you do. So because I drove about 1,500 miles, I do get about a $1,000 tax write-off. So that means out of the $1,272 I made, I only have to pay taxes on $272 of that, which basically brings my tax bill down to nothing, which is super important for the amount of money you're actually profiting. Also in the last video, I mentioned a giveaway that I'd be doing during this series. And I also mentioned a raffle that you guys could enter. Now, I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I uploaded, but things have just been crazy the past month. So I literally couldn't get the time to edit and film this. But anyway, I said that for the month, I would give away $1 for every subscriber I got throughout this challenge. So that is still going on. So far, let me check real quick just to make sure. I've gained 867 subscribers. So that means that the raffle total that you can win is now $867. Now this will be going on for about another week or so. So you still have that opportunity to subscribe and be entered into the subscriber giveaway, which I'm not telling you guys what that is yet, but also let's get into how you can get some raffle tickets and win that $867, but it'll probably be more like $1,000 or $1,100 by the time I close the giveaway. So there are a few different ways you can earn raffle tickets. One way that you can get three raffle tickets is if you're a subscriber on my YouTube channel and also if you go follow my Instagram and TikTok account. So if you email me pictures of you following me on those platforms and being subscribed to me, then you will earn three raffle tickets. You can email me at this email address right here and I will enter you into that raffle. Now, if you want an even better chance of winning, then you can actually go and shop my merch, which is the More Fit store. And I just released two brand new hoodies. They're perfect for fall time, perfect for Halloween. It's got a cool little Lamborghini graphic on it. So for every $10 you spend over there, you get one raffle ticket. And so once again, if you take a screenshot of your purchase order and email that to me, I'll get you entered into the raffle. 
And then the last thing you can do to earn another five raffle tickets is actually send me a screenshot of you having downloaded the solo app and having linked one of your gig accounts. That'll earn you five raffles into the giveaway. So those are the ways you can enter. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. If you have questions, you can comment. I'll try and answer as many questions as I can in the comment section. But yeah, hopefully that made sense. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.